Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here or at Activate Learn on Twitter. It is time for another book review and this time around it is something very different to what I usually read. It was a quite a small book, I read it in a few hours and it is a book called The Library of Unrequited Love by Sophie DeVry. I'm hoping I said her name correctly. Now she's a French writer, she's an ex-journalist and this was her first book and I must admit I found it delightful but I'll explain here that <laughs> her biography is really weird she writes that she lives in Lyon she likes aubergines olive oil and her mother's homemade jam she hates cars is a feminist and has a phobia about open doors she likes swimming in the sea lakes or rivers but doesn't like buying a book without knowing what's inside it I'm sorry Sophie <laughs> I bought your book without knowing what's inside it and I was completely delighted with it. Uh, so this this book was translated uh, from French into English. So what is it about? It is about a librarian, a French librarian, who stumbles upon someone who was locked in overnight in her library. Now this middle-aged librarian has a gripe with the world as you can imagine as you can imagine someone who uh, has worked most of her life in a library she doesn't have anyone in her life who loves her she feels a bit unacknowledged unseen um, uh, and feel basically feels invisible and so this entire book is, uh, I guess it's a soliloquy. There are no chapters. It is just bang. She finds this person and all of a sudden you can just imagine her sitting there beside them and just talking and talking and talking and talking about everything that um, she finds really annoying. Uh, everything from the Dewey Decimal System where she rants about um, the need to have things organised, but we you know why were there certain gaps in the Dewey Decimal System? And indeed, in one section, she goes on about the gap between 400. And so, a couple of days ago, when I went to the library to go and get my um, big library haul. <laughs> Here's me looking through the, the stacks of books and looking at where the numbers are and seeing big gaps in the shelves and wondering why isn't there uh, more books in the space. And so she was the one who made me think about the Dewey Decimal System. Now, she also has gripes with her colleagues. She's like constantly complaining. She complains about the bureaucratic structure of the library and because she works down in the basement, she has some kind of nasty little way of getting back at people where she kind of withholds information. She hates architects, so she withholds information from people who request her help and it's her way of getting back at the world. And so in some kind of way, I feel this this librarian, this old-fashioned French middle-aged female librarian who has gripes with everyone in the world, you know, a public that doesn't really acknowledge her, that she, in, in some way, she wants to be seen. She wants to be uh, asked a question. She wants to, she wants love. She was, she has this unrequited love with a young bloke called Martin and she's obsessed by him and she makes these big stories in her head of what Martin might be like based on what he's reading and um, how he sits in certain chairs or at, at desks and there's an exchange one one day where where you could see that Martin comes up to her and you think, oh my God, they're going to speak, they're going to actually talk. And all he asks is for the uh, the light to be turned on. And it was kind of like, oh, you know, and then you, you start to think, here's a woman who feels invisible. She's just typical of any middle-aged woman who might have certain things in her life unrequited or unexpressed or just didn't happen and these little glimmers of hope that where she creates these stories in her head about 
this, this young man, Martin. But you know, nothing's going to really change at the end of it. Life will go on. She'll still have her unrequited love and her gripes about her work, her life and her loves. So I really enjoyed this book. This this was a wonderful little book. A bit sad, a bit a bit sad, a bit heartbreaking at times, but wonderful. So Sophie DeVry, The Library of Unrequited Love. Read it. Let me know what you think.